Hello everyone, welcome back to the Popsicle Night channel. My name is Joseph and today I'll be showing you an experimental deck using Galarian Perserker from Vivid Voltage. But before that, please leave a like to this video, hit that thumbs up, this actually helps me out with the YouTube algorithm getting this video to more viewers like you. And thank you for taking the time to check out my channel. Please consider subscribing to this channel if you haven't already and feel free to share this content. So let's get started. For today, I'm not going to spend so much time explaining what each card is supposed to do in this deck because I basically took one of my previous deck build and just made very minor changes. If you want to check out the full detail of that build, check out my other video, Ultimate Energy Denial Deck, and I'll put a link in the description below. And you should be seeing a card right about now if you want to check out that video as well. And like I said, this deck is still on the works but I just wanted to experiment on the new Galarian Perserker that came with a Vivid Voltage set. And so far, it's looking good. Galarian Perserker has 120 HP with two attacks. And what I really want to focus on is Steely Claws. For just one metal energy, it will do 20 base damage. And then you can flip three coins. And for each heads, you can discard any trainer card you choose from your opponent's hand. This is insanely disruptive because you can take away any item tool or support cards which will mess up your opponent's combos. For now, I'll have a 2-2 line of this Berserker. And what better way to disrupt your opponent even further when you can even take away their energies from their Pokemon so they can't attack. And so, I'll be using a 3-3 line of Seeking in this deck with the attack Ripping Horn. For just one water energy, just like Berserker, you flip three coins and for each heads, discard that many energies attached to your opponent's active. So naturally, because we want to get as many heads with Galarian Perserker and Seeking's attack, it's only fitting that we include at least three copies of Glimwood Tangle Stadium in this deck so that we can reflip coins if we're not satisfied with our first try. But be warned, RNG can be very cruel and you could get three tails even on your second chance. I will be using a 2-2-2 line of Inteleon with the Shady Dealings ability, which lets you search your deck for trainer cards when you evolve from your hand into Drizzile or Inteleon. So I'll be using Inteleon's mechanics so that we can get the trainer cards we need so that we can set up even quicker. And for further disruption, I've included one Zigzagoon and one Galarian Obstagoon to evolve with Rare Candy. Its Wicked Ruler ability will force your opponent to discard cards from their hand until they have only 4 left. By doing this, it will limit our opponent even further. Snorlax with Gormandize will be our consistency Pokemon. While it ends your turn, the Gormandize ability allows you to draw cards until you have 7 in your hand. And lastly, I have a copy of Marshadow so that we can remove Chaotic Swells, allowing us to play our Glimwood Tangle Stadium. And the trainer cards I think we need to mention are 3 copies of Crushing Hammers, because again, everybody loves these. 2 bosses orders, 2 team yell grunts, and I have equal amounts of basic metal and water energy. And I will put the deck list in the description below if you want to try it out. But everything else is pretty much the same from my previous build. I'm sure I'll have to tweak some of it along the way, maybe add more bosses orders or something. But overall it's pretty consistent as of right now. The whole point of this deck is to disrupt your opponent, not let them attack, not let them advance fast enough with their setup, and just keep at it until they deck out and maybe attack with Inteleon when we need to. This build certainly requires patience and if you don't have that, this deck probably is not for you. But for me, it's a lot of fun because it certainly keeps you on your toes and you really have to think of what you need to do next. And that's pretty much it for the deck, but enough talk, let's see one of my gameplays. I've only included one because this match took a bit of time, but I hope you enjoy it. All right, so I'm kind of excited. You know, this is my first match. <laughs> I just want to see how, uh how this fares with um, combination of Seeking and Berserker. All right, so we, we're starting off with Sobble here, the active, and we're up against the fire deck. And I can use this quick ball. Um, then maybe we can discard, I'm gonna say, Meal Grunt and let's just get a Snorlax and I'm gonna attach the energy on Sobble Retreat so we can use um, Gormandize Yep, we'll do that. All right, we got two Inteleons already, but we can use the Evolution Incense to get a uh, Drizzile 
Um, we gotta start setting up the the Goldeen and also um, the Meowth, Galarian, Galarian Meowth. Alright, they're gonna Wilder. Uh, all they have is a Jirachi. And another with Jirachi. I still don't know what deck we're playing against. Alright, they're gonna get a switch. Um, oh, we're already, we have two, we have two, um, hammers to get rid of energies if we need to. And we already have uh, Glimwood Tangle to start flipping, reflipping coins if we need to. Okay, they're gonna get a scoop up net. We're just going through with this uh, Jirachi line. Uh, Alright, they get a giant hearth this time. Well, they are thinning out their deck, so... You're getting a lot of fire energy. Um, hmm. I wonder, could this be, um, this could be a Santa Scorch VMAX deck, but they're getting a lot of energy. I have a feeling this is like a Blacephalon deck or something, but they haven't put anything on their bench yet, so I'm not sure. Um, alright, we'll just use this Evo Incense, get ourselves a Drizzile, and, um, yeah, let's get rid of this giant hearth. And then we're gonna evolve into Drizzile, yes. And we are gonna get ourselves Marnie. No, let's just get Sonya so that we can start setting up our um, Goldeen and also Meow. Alright, so um, we can attach this uh, Metal Energy on Meowth. And we'll just use the pad to get our Yelgrunt and Sonya back. We might need it later on. <laughs> okay, we get it back. Well, at least we get a, a Galarian uh, Berserker finally. So that can help us. Oh, they have a... Um, is that the Shadow? Mar Shadow? So they can remove our Glimwood Tangle. So that's not good. Um, but that's okay. Uh, we'll deal with it. So they're using their second welder. Okay, I think they're just trying to draw as much cards as they can. Okay, and then they remove our Glimwood Tangle. Okay, um, they attach an energy on Cramorant. And sure enough, it is a Blessephalon deck. Trying to get all those energies into their hand. No, that's not that's not a good idea though, because if 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 I um if we were able to Marnie, could just put all of those energies back into their deck. So, but yeah, bless Blessephalon is still very explosive, even after um, the Flint has been removed and all that stuff. Um, Blessephalon is still a threat. Basically, uh, for a basic Pokemon, it's can one hit KO any V Max in the game. Okay, there's another Blacephalon. They're gonna switch into Cramorant. Okay, they're probably gonna use Beat Catch, find something else in the in their deck. Uh, meanwhile, for us, I think, I mean, their Blacephalon is not energized yet. So, um, once we evolve into Inteleon, we can get like a scoop up net. I'm thinking a scoop up net and uh, another copy of the Glimwood Tangle so that we can promote our Perserker and remove those, um, remove those, um, what do you call that? Uh, welders. Uh, I'm just gonna use Sonya for now to get another um, basic of Meowth 
just in case. So we'll, we're gonna evolve into Berserker. Then we're gonna evolve into Inteleon. And yeah, I, I think I think that's what I'm gonna do. Is just get a scoop up net and a copy of Glimwood Tangle. Yeah, so let's play that. Glimwood Tangle. And then uh, we don't need to play the basics yet. And I'm just gonna attach an energy on Inteleon. I mean it can attack the Bless Alphalon and KO it if we need to. Uh, for now, we're going to scoop up net and put Galarian Perserka into the active. And we don't need to use the hammer just yet. So I think I'm just going to use Steely Claws for 20 damage. And I'm hoping for... Oh, <laughs> dude! No, no, do not flip. <laughs> so let's get rid of these two. Two Welders and one Fire Crystal. Yeah, put that in the discard. <laughs> so. Uh, so there's no way they can um, energize their uh, Blessephalon now. <laughs> Dude, uh, so this is my first time uh, testing out Galarian Berserker um, in a in a, a um, another interruptive. Uh, disruptive deck with Seeking, so uh, is, is this really interesting to see? I wonder what other decks I can um, put this Galarian Perserker into. Uh, but so far it's, you know, for just one Metal Energy, uh, it, it's very disruptive. Maybe I can even put it in like a adp deck <laughs> just, to, just to mess with our opponent. Um, or maybe uh, since it takes a little bit of time, to set up, we can even put it in a metal metalization deck. All right, so let's just use these hammers. All right, cool. So we can get rid of this Cramrat uh, energy. That way, they'll still need to um, get two more because they don't have a lot of welders, anyways. And we're just gonna steely claws. Oh, we only got one. Should we try again? I'll wait for a few seconds. Ah. They do this all the time. <laughs> Stupid RNG. Uh, sometimes you just have to make that judgment if you want to settle with just one or reflip and get none. <laughs> you know? Uh, okay, so they're gonna use uh, Eldegoss and they're gonna get a, a Welder. So that's not good for us. <laughs> you know? Okay, they're gonna energize their Blasaflon. Um, they could have energized the Kremrat V, but the same time it discards it so uh, you know I can see why it's more uh, it's better to just attach it on the bluffs bless half line and you know attaching one more energy you can start attacking so uh, yeah our berserker <laughs> is, uh, is weak to fire so there's no way our berserker is gonna survive this um, I mean, we have another Meowth ready to to go, uh, but there's no way we can uh, start attacking. So I think after they um, knock out our Berserker, I might just have to promote um, Snorlax for now. Cause um, if we're since we're not sure what card we're gonna get out of our top deck. Uh, there's no point in putting our Intellion into the active because it's just going to get knocked out. So we're just going to have to put uh, Snorlax in the active. Oh, we got a Seeking. Okay. So let's just evolve this and we're probably just going to Gormandize. Um, we, I don't think we need to put uh, Goldeen yet. So we'll just Gormandize. We get a Switch and Water Energy is nice. Um, so even if they knock out our Snorlax into the active, we have another one uh, to replace it. And we are we are playing uh, one Prizer, so we don't have to worry about um, Blacephalon knocking out our Snorlax. So at least in our next turn, we can uh, promote Inteleon and then we can just attach the energy, knocking this one out. Maybe doing a chip damage on the other Blacephalon. So that's what I'm thinking of doing. Um, and then we have another water energy to 
uh, use on Seeking. So even if, uh, let's say, we attack with Inteleon to knock out this one and then they uh, attack with Blastaphalon or something, we can then use Seeking to uh, remove all its energy and that'll disable it. Um, so that's the plan anyways. So I'm just gonna uh, put Inteleon into the active. Attach uh, water energy. Uh, we'll, we'll just put Snorlax in the bench first. So attach energy and then I'm just gonna use Evolution Roar. And yeah, I can yeah, I can get rid of these two. So we don't have a Sobble anyways set up, so. Oh, dude. My Berserker is prized. Yeah, so I think we're just gonna use Aqua Bullet. And I'm not gonna use Boss's Order. It's pointless. So, now we'll get a knockout for that. Okay. <laughs> nice. So we got our Berserker finally. So we can uh, now evolve our Berserker, uh, promote that, and then we can start removing a lot more of their trainer cards. Um, so for right now, our Inteleon is safe, but I don't know what uh, cards they have. I'm pretty sure they had um, they have a welder. So uh, for sure, our Inteleon is not gonna survive this turn so I think the only next option we have really is uh, the seeking uh, because even if we evolve into Berserker if their their Pokemon is energized in and attacking um, there's no point in uh, putting Berserker in the in the active because it's just gonna get knocked out so I think the next option will be seeking Okay, so there now I'm sure there there's a welder. Okay, they're gonna use fire crystal. Yeah, so they can it can go either way. You can either use uh, on Blacephalon or they're gonna use it on uh, on on Cramorant V. Okay, they're gonna use uh, Pokemon Catcher. Oh, okay. Um. Hmm, okay. So, if they knock out Snorlax, then that's fine. <laughs> you know. Oh, okay. Um, so, our, our opponent is uh, planning to target our Inteleon anyways, I think. Yeah, so they're going to scoop up Ned, Jirachi, and then they're going to attack with um, Cramorant V. So, they're going to they're gonna target one of our benched Pokemon. And um, they have a Victini V as well, so... Um, they have a very strong attacking or offensive um, uh, deck. Uh, you know, it's it's typical of Blastaphalon decks. So they do knock out our um, Inteleon. So now it's left to our two Pokemon here <laughs> in the bench. So we'll evolve into uh, Perserker and we're just going to attach a Water Energy on Seeking. Uh, they can't attack just yet so I think the best option we have is to use, just use Berserker and oh, okay <laughs> nice so we can get rid of their uh, welder and maybe this energy spinner so that'll disable them for a few turns I just hope that their top deck is not something that they can use so, so far so good. Um, we're not taking any prizes, but um, we are disrupting them and I'm hoping for a deck out uh, on uh, with our opponent. So, you know, we're just trying to disable them as much as we can so that they can't attack. I mean, we still have three, uh, 23 cards in our deck, so we're still ahead of them. We just gotta prevent um, our Pokemon from getting knocked out. Uh, they're gonna use Quick Ball, there's a Mar Shadow. Okay, uh, we got a we got a Drizzile, but we don't have a Sobble. Um, I can attach this Water Energy on Berserker, so in case we can just uh, retreat. And okay, well they don't have any Trainer cards, so it doesn't do us much good. 
Um, their Victini V. Oh no, the Switch. They got that from the top deck. Energy Burst. Oh my gosh, 300 damage on our Berserker. Well, it's up to Seeking. Um, yeah, we could use Yell Grunt, get rid of this. And we're just gonna have to hope for the best. Ripping Horn, yes. Two is good. Can discard that. Okay, so now that'll disable uh, Victini V at least. Um, I don't think they have any Walders yet. Uh, well, that's gonna create a problem because Victini V can energize the Pokemon using um, <laughs> the discarded energies. Oh my gosh. Um, you can use Wal. Uh, you can use uh, Boss's Order. Just ripping horn this. Uh, Two. Well, two is good, you know. At least it's not gonna knock out our seeking. Alright, so seeking is doing pretty good. <laughs> the attach an energy on Blessaphalon. And we could just uh ripping horn this one. Oh, okay. They they hard retreat. Um Okay, they're just gonna energize Cramorant, I guess. Huh. Um. Okay. So if they have a switch, um, we're done. <laughs> I think we're just gonna, gonna use Marnie. Uh, I don't have any other options here. Um. I mean, we can get rid of that uh, Hearth by with the Glimwood Tangle. And I'm just gonna continue to Ripping Horn. Okay, we got one. I'm gonna reflip. Oh, okay. One. One either way. That's fine. It's better than nothing, right? Okay. Um, even if they... Okay, they get a boss's order, Snorlax. That's okay. We have a switch. Um, yeah, even if they energize this Victini V with two energies, uh, it shouldn't knock out are seeking so we can just keep removing its energy and we're just gonna go in that cycle until uh, all of their energies are are gone okay they're focusing on Cramorant they probably want to retreat or something and then just target our seeking that will disable us um, and when we use Snorlax uh, there's no Pokemon on our bench so we're gonna lose um, I think I'm just gonna switch out, uh, Seeking, put an energy on Snorlax. And we have a Sobble. I'm just gonna use Ripping Horn. Sweet, we got two. Uh, no. Two is pretty good. I, <laughs> you know, I'm not gonna take my chances and think I'd get nothing. Two is good. Uh, even with the two energy, it shouldn't knock out Seeking. But if they do put another energy, um, then yeah. Uh, we have an evil incense. I'm I'm thinking of just using a boss's order. I think we have one more in the deck. Unless it's price. I didn't really check. Um, yeah, the Obstagoon uh, that we have, that's what I was... Um, the, it would have been nice to have it set up, but I didn't have the Zigzagoon in the deck. So I couldn't really get this obstacle set up. That would have been uh, nice earlier in the game when when our opponent had a lot of uh, cards in their hand. But you know, you can't have everything, and Zigzagoon is prized. So we got a scoop up net. Um, yeah, let's just use Evo Incense. Get ourselves a Drizzile. We do have a boss's order, so I think I think uh, I think that's the best option right now. So I'm just going to get a boss's order and um, yeah so Victini V is a total energy from both Pokemon so we are going to die. <laughs> I mean we're going to get knocked out. Uh, yeah Blastephalon is the best option here because it, it's the one that has two retreat cost. 
And I'm just going to put an energy on... We don't have an Inteleon in anymore, but... We, we, we can attack, at least, with it. And we can use uh, Ordinary Rod. We can get an Inteleon. No, let's just get a, a line of Perserker. And get uh, two, two Metal Energies. And... I think I'm gonna Marnie? This is probably not a good idea because our opponent only has three cards left in their their deck. That's okay. At least he puts everything in the bottom. I was hoping for a Meowth, but that didn't work. We used the hammer and that didn't work. And we don't have anything any energy to rip rip off of our opponent, so we're just gonna pass. And they're gonna pass. They don't have a switch. Um, there's no point in using Yelgrunt because they're just going to reattach it. And if we do that, they might just put it on Blacephalon. So there's our Meowth. I'm just going to put this energy there. And I'll just pass. Um, okay, so our opponent <laughs> doesn't have anything to switch out. So I'm just going to use... Um, Perserker here to evolve, retreat, and then I'll just Steely Claws. Sweet. No, it's fine. Sweet. Okay, we can get rid of the Quick Bomb and that Stamp. And that'll reduce them down to zero in their deck. Can they do anything to switch out? <laughs> I think that's it. <laughs> well played. Oh my gosh, <laughs> we won! <laughs> Seeking and Perserker, good game. <laughs> That's a long game though, man. <sighs> Galarian Perserker is very, very disruptive. And if you combo that with Seeking and Obstagoon, this deck will certainly make your opponent rage quit. If you have patience, go try this deck out for yourselves and tell me what you think. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please, please, please don't forget to smash that like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And please consider subscribing to this channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, stay safe and have a great day.